Hey guys, Sam from Memphis Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. So I have hopped on today because Mantha has been slacking, guys. I am so, so sorry. I received some happy mail a good couple of weeks ago now, but because I pre-recorded a lot of my content in advance because of the new job that I have started, I just haven't found a time slot to fit some of these videos in. So apologies to the happy mail senders. There are two more happy mails that are waiting to be filmed. I have received them but I am just waiting for a time slot for those videos to come up. So I do apologize and I do appreciate it. And just to preface this guys with the fact that I never expect happy mail. I never require it, beg for it, nothing like that. The fact that any of you want to gift me with something is totally mind blowing. And I just love the fact that you all spoil me so, so much. Now, don't feel guilty if you are not in a position to send happy mail, because like I said, it is a happy bonus. It is not a requirement. Um, the fact that you just keep coming back and watching my videos, giving me thummies, leaving comments, coming to the lives, supporting my channel in any way, shape or form. That is the biggest gift you all give to me on a daily basis. Happy mail is just extra loveliness that I still cannot wrap my head around anyone wanting to do. So. I am going to do two happy mails in one. The first one that I am going to showcase is um, a belated Christmas card that I received either on the last day of February or the first day of March. I can't remember which one it was. Um, it is a little late, but I am still so happy to receive it. And when I opened up my post box, I was like, yay, Christmas is here again. Honestly, I really do not mind when things get to me because... This particular Christmas card came all the way from the USA. It may have got delayed somewhere. I don't know the story behind it, but the fact that it still arrived to me in one piece is amazing. I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year. And of course I'm gonna showcase it because as you know, Mike and I did a Christmas card exchange for the last two Christmases. So yes. I really, really, really love the fact that you guys jumped on board with that. And I love to get a little bit of Christmas later in the year. It could be Christmas every day for me and I really wouldn't mind. So this one, here it is, has come from the wonderful Elaine Brown, also known as Pudding. Yes, in DD. Now, Elaine Brown does have a channel here on YouTube. She is Elaine Brown Crochet. I will put a link to her channel down below. If you are not familiar with Elaine, please do go and check her out. She is a wonderful friend of mine. I love her to absolute bits and pieces. Elaine has been joining in with some of the tiles of the week. She has been an absolute superstar to me in my YouTube journey. And Elaine, thank you so, so much for sending this Christmas card. It really is appreciated. Now, as you can see and hear, I have not opened it before getting on camera because whenever I get happy mail, I like to open it straight on camera with you so that you get my genuine reaction and I can give a heartfelt thanks to the person that sent it to me. Okay, so, oh, it's a flamingo. Love it. Look at that festive flamingo on the beach styling it out for Christmas. I love it. Thank you so, so much. That is super cool. Oh, I don't think Elaine will mind me sharing the message. It says, let it snow somewhere else. Happy holidays. Hope you have a flocking Merry Christmas and a Moose New Year. Love ya, Elaine, aka Pudding. Thank you, Pudding. I love it. This is going to go with the other Christmas cards that I got last year. I am going to keep it forever in my memento box. I actually need a new memento box because the other one is stuffed full. And that is not me bragging. That is not me showing off. That's just me telling you facts. But yes, this will go with the others and I will treasure it forever. And I just love, love, love that flamingo. He is flocking awesome. And we did have a lovely Christmas. Thank you. I hope your family did as well. 
Now, the other happy mail is from my fantabulous Yarny Fairy Godmother. She does not have content here on YouTube and I keep her identity a secret. She has blessed Mike and I oh, a million fold. A lot of what you see behind me was gifted by her. She ramped up my yarn stash by ridiculous proportions. She is so over generous, so kind, such a sweet, sweet person. And we do contact each other from time to time outside of YouTube, but we are both very busy people. And Yani Fairy Godmother, if you are watching, I love you super huge amounts. I know you don't like it when I get too sloppy, but you really were a blessing to come into my life, not just for everything you have gifted me, but for all of the friendship, the love and the emotional support along the way, the support of the channel. Um, you literally just took me in your arms and embraced me with everything good in the world. So thank you so, so much. And again, apologies, Yarny Fairy Godmother. I have been sitting on this package for a couple of weeks now. She did tell me that it was coming. But like I said, to try and fit it into scheduling has been a bit of a nightmare because I was super organised and got content filmed and scheduled in advance because now working full time, my filming time is limited. But I am so super excited to finally get into this because when I receive Happy Mail, to have it there staring at me is pure torture. It's going, open me, open me. You know, you want to see the beauty inside. Open me. And I'm just like, you have to wait. I have to wait. Stop it. But now is the time. Now, this package is from Yarny Fairy Godmother, but she actually ordered it through Etsy, through the company Ruffles Yarn Limited. If I can find a link to this company, I will, of course, put it down in the description box below for you to check out. This is not to enable you. This is just to showcase the beautiful happy mail that I received and to maybe give you somewhere else and somewhere new to look at and potentially shop from. So if I can find Ruffles Yarn, I will put a link down below. Yarny Fairy Godmother, thank you so, so much. And of course, by ordering from something within the UK to me, A, it's quicker to get to me and B, it saves on shipping costs. So I totally get why Yarny Fairy Godmother did it. Now to me, it feels like mini hanks, but I don't know because I have not yet opened it. I am opening it as we speak. Sorry for the crinkles, but to me, crinkles mean new and exciting. So I am not going to peek inside. I have opened it up and I'm going to give you guys the first look. What can you see, guys? What can you see? Is it good? Is it good? Am I going to love it? Let me take a look now. Oh, it is mini hangs. Oh, they're so gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Right, let me get all of the things out of the package. Okay, so yes, Ruffles Yarn. Hand-dyed yarns for that special project. Here is all of their details. So you might want to take a little screenshot of that so you know where to find them. And like I said, I will at least put the Etsy link down in the description box. I love that there's pink in this card. There's a little pink bird on that yarn ball. So, so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. So there you go. That should have been long enough for you to take a screenshot. Also inside is a little sachet of coffee. Now, as you know, I cannot drink coffee, so I shall be passing this over to Mike and he will be super happy to have got a little bit of this happy mail for himself as well. Thank you very, very much. There is also a pink feather. You know, I love pink. Pink is my favourite colour and my favourite animal is a pink flamingo. So this is just perfect. And there is a gorgeous unicorn rainbow sticker as well. What cute little extras. I love it. Come on, camera, focus. Show the peeps the gorgeousness. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. 
heart-shaped rainbow haired unicorn sticker love it love it love it but the main event are these beautiful hanks and it is two packages of hand dyed pink yarn look aren't they gorgeous i love it i love it i love it now i am gonna crack one open and let you know what i think oh i'm gonna tear the sticker that says thank you for your order i'm sorry okay crinkle crinkle now there are no details of what yarn this is i am gonna guess that there is superwash merino in here and they are mini hanks now this one is a slightly tonal darker pink it is super squishy soft guys it is absolutely lovely in the most beautiful color in the world in my opinion it is gorgeous it's hand dyed super squishy definitely wearable against your skin there is no roughness there is no itchy there is no irritation at all it is gorgeous so we have the dark pink we have the medium pink so yeah i don't know what yardage are in each of these and i don't know what the material or the fiber is but that is okay and there is the light baby pink isn't it so pretty so I will be able to do some kind of ombre project or colour fade project. Absolutely gorgeous. But of course, because it's super special yarn, I'm going to have to find a super special project to make with it. Because I, um, I don't want to waste this beautifulness on a project that I'm not overly fussed about. It has to be something memorable. It has to be something beautiful. It has to be something that I want to keep forever and ever and ever. And I got two packages of the same colors. And you can see the Ruffles Yarn logo sticker there. And yes, I put them back in the same colour order because that is Mantha. She is a little bit OCD, but they are stunning. Thank you so much. This will be a project in the future. I do not know when because, like I said, I have to find the absolute perfect project for these. I do not know the fibre and I do not know the yardage, but they look like little 50 gram hanks. So, yes. And they look like mm, a two weight, possibly a three weight. So there we have it. Gorgeousness. Absolute gorgeousness. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you, Yanni Fairy Godmother. I absolutely... Oh, I dropped the card. Sorry. Um, I absolutely adore it. And this cute little extra is just fabulous. So, yes, I don't know the colourways. I don't know the fibre. I don't know the yardage. I don't even know the yarn weight. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And I will put this to really good use. And like I say, make a fabulous, fabulous project to use forevermore and keep forever so mwah, thank you elaine for the christmas card mwah, thank you yarny fairy godmother for my gorgeous pink mini hanks hugs to you both i love you both super huge amounts i also love you guys for coming along and watching this video today i really do appreciate it Please do come back tomorrow as there will be a crochet and chat video for you to enjoy. So before you click on my video tomorrow, make sure that you have a project to work on with me and a drink. And we will just sit and crochet together and I will probably find lots of things to waffle about. I never have a plan. I just click the camera on, start crocheting and see where the conversation takes me. So I'm going to let you all get going. 
once again thank you elaine and yanni fairy godmother for spoiling me so much i appreciate you both i love you both thanks to you guys but until i see you next time stay safe be kind look after one another get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in i will see you in the next one or around the youtube streets bye guys love you loads